Once there was a poor fisherman. He never caught many fish, and so he had no money. On some days, he did not catch any fish. He couldn't buy food for his wife and three children. They only ate fish. Usually, he caught very small fish, but one day, he caught a dead horse. Today is a bad day, he thought. Angrily, he began to fish again. This time, he caught a bag of old cups. Sadly, he threw them back in the water. What can I do? He said, "I am a poor man. I want to sell fish. I want to buy food for my children." He tried again. This time, he caught an old jar. It looked green, but then he looked again. It was dirty, so he washed it, and it was gold. There were some words on the top of the jar. But he couldn't read. The fisherman jumped up happily. "I can sell this now," he said. "Today is a good day." He looked at the jar carefully. Perhaps there is something inside, he thought. I'll open it. So he opened the jar and looked inside. Suddenly, white smoke came out of the jar, and a great giant appeared. The fisherman was very afraid. The giant spoke. Now, fisherman, I am going to kill you. Why? Cried the fisherman. What did I do? You opened the jar. For that, I am going to kill you. How do you want to die? I can kill you with my hands, or I can throw you into the sea. But why do you have to kill me? I will tell you," said the giant. One day, the king of the giants was very angry with me. I took his youngest and loveliest daughter for a walk by the sea, and he didn't like it, so he put me in this jar. I could not get out, because he wrote his name on the top of the jar. I could hear him from inside the jar. Because you love the sea, you dog, he cried. You can live in it, and he threw me in the water. I was in the jar for days and weeks. One day somebody will open this bottle, I thought, and I will make them into a great king or queen. But after a hundred years. Nobody opened the bottle, so I thought, I will make them into a king or queen, but not a great king or queen. After two hundred years, I thought, where is this person? Now I will make them rich, but I will not make them a king or queen. After three hundred years, I was very angry. When somebody opens the jar, I will kill them. I thought. You are that person, fisherman. How do you want to die? I have one question," said the fisherman. "Will you answer it?" "I will," said the giant. "But ask quickly." "Were you in that jar?" "Yes, I was," answered the giant. "You saw me." But you are so big, your hand is as big as the jar. Think before you speak. Is there nothing inside your head? The giant was not very clever. I will show you," he said angrily. Suddenly, he disappeared into white smoke again, and the smoke went inside the jar. You see," he called from inside. The fisherman quickly put the top back on the jar. Ha! Now, giant," he said, "I will throw the jar back into the sea. Perhaps somebody will find you in another three hundred years." Please open the jar," called the giant. 
I will make you a rich man. No, you will kill me, answered the fisherman. No, I won't, said the giant. I won't. I'll make you very, very rich. The fisherman thought for a minute. All right then, he said, and opened the jar. White smoke came out of the jar, and the giant appeared again. He quickly threw the jar into the sea. Thank you, he said to the fisherman. I will not forget this. Come with me. The fisherman followed the giant round the city walls and over a mountain. There they came to a great blue and gold sea. In the water, there were many fish. Now, catch something. I will watch you," said the giant. In no time, the fisherman caught three fish, three beautiful red, white, and gold fish. Take these fish to your king," said the giant. "He will give you a lot of money for them." The giant disappeared, and blue and gold smoke went into the ground. When the king saw the fish. He said to the fisherman, "Those are beautiful fish. I will give you gold for them." Then he said to his servant, "Take these fish to the cook. We will eat them today." The fisherman took his gold home to his family. They ate a wonderful dinner of bread, meat, fruit, vegetables, and no fish. For the first time in their lives, they were not hungry. The king's cook put the fish over the fire. They started to cook. Suddenly, the smoke from the fire went blue and gold, and a strange woman appeared in the kitchen. She spoke to the fish. Fish, fish, are you doing your work? The fish did not answer. Then their heads went up, and they said, "We are, and we are happy." The strange woman pushed the fish into the fire. The smoke from the fire went blue and gold, and the woman disappeared into it. The king and his servant came into the kitchen. "I am waiting for the fish. Where are they?" he said to the cook. He saw. That the fish were in the fire, and he could not eat them. The cook told him about the strange woman. The king wanted to see the woman, so he sent for the fisherman. Bring me three more fish, he said. When the fisherman came back with three more fish, the king gave him more gold. <laughs>